I'm in Colorado for a self-supported bikepacking race. Race route from Durango to Denver. The elevation profile of the race, there's a few hills along the way. Therefore, the team needed some rest and relaxation beforehand. Emma, why are you dressed like that? <laughs> because the Muzzies love me. <laughs> So I had a flippin' A this morning, uh, sun woke me up. It was now time to sit back, relax, eat lots, chill, socialise, and also some had a racing haircut, as well as prep our bikes, but it was soon time to get on them and go. Time has come to race from Durango to Denver. The unofficial Scottish team ready to go, Hugh Oliver, Annie Lee, Lee Craigie and myself Emma. And look who just happened to be spectating, the one and only Jenny Graham. So day one, started at 4am Durango, I'm now at 4pm, so 12 hours of riding and a very little stopping. The main mission has been eating. morning. I kept going last night from Blackfoot Pass, not for that long. I got to nine o'clock at night and I just wanted to go to sleep. Kind of, I just reviewed what my trip was about and I just want to have fun. I have just come down this amazing creek and the single track has been awesome and if I'd done it in the dark last night to push to Silverton I'd have missed it all. So I've gone into total tour mode I've got 11 days to do the whole thing. Made it to Silverton, the last resupply stop for 180 miles. With a big climb straight away. So, just been climbing, well, climbing, pushing my bike for four and a bit hours. Uh, I'm not sure why. Oh, but then I remembered this view. So we're at the High Point Colorado Trail, it's probably about just over 4,000 metres. Um, we've just had to pedal across the plateau and uh, we've got a storm brewing, so I'm going to move quick and get out of here. Ciao! Incredible descent along the ridge, it went on and on and on. These photos don't do it justice. However, a long way. So, set off at 4am this morning. It's now 5pm, trundling up a road, not having much fun and uh, I don't know where I'm going to camp, I do cook myself some food, oh, my legs are like jelly. Why am I doing this? Hmm. So, I'm at the top now, so I feel a lot better for getting to the top. This is like drive just to keep pushing and keep going and I don't really know where it's coming from. Maybe some of the calories I kept remembering to eat. So I'm just currently hiding under a tree, a big storm going through. And uh, it's pretty dramatic. And uh, when you're out on your own, it's a little bit like, oh, I've got to be out of here. But I've also got cows to contend with and I have a big issue with cows, don't ask me why. Stressful times. 
However, the riding's been quite nice and quite mellow. Although I think it's going to kick up a little bit this afternoon. I aim to ride till 9pm again, um, so a good few hours pedalling to do and pushing. Morning, so, oh, not great this morning. Pushed really hard last night. Okay, so got going and it's always that first hour is really hard. Happy I'm at some super flowy trail and uh, sun's out. Yeah. So yeah, happy again. It's like so many peaks and troughs in mood and uh, it's all to do with food and drink and sleep and how you're feeling. So it's all good. And just part way down a five mile descent and it's flipping amazing but it's also pissing it down so probably the biggest descent of the trip so far and uh it's sloppy wet goodness Ooh. so really good night's sleep um day six i'm excited to get to buena vista but the downsides of this whole thing is I've just put soggy helmet on, wet chamois, uh, wet socks, which absolutely stink because I've only got one set. I've got another hour before the sun hits me, so it's just like, ah. But uh, once, once that first hour is done, it's all good. In Leadville, I caught up with Hugh and Annie, who unfortunately had had to retire from the race due to injury, but they then became the best support crew, and unofficially, and not really within the rules, Annie then joined me for a day going over two passes, riding incredible trails, having a lot of fun, and I was not complaining at having company for the day. How many hills have you pushed up so far? <laughs> They're uncountable because there's so many. And what's above your head right now? <laughs> A storm! Because <laughs> they really like me and they want to chase me. Always from behind as well. Most days it was sunshine, most of the day, and then storms would arrive late afternoon. Here comes Annie! Day nine, I pushed hard to make sure I was done on day 10, but we still had a long way to pedal. So, just on to the last ridge of the whole trip. Boy, am I glad to be up here. And uh, probably still got an hour and a half, two hours to get down uh, to hopefully meet you and Annie at the finish. But. It's not eased off one little bit. It's been full on every single day, uh, but uh, incredible. Emma, do you want a Coke or a chocolate milk? A Coke. Coke. Or, or. or an incredible pedal beer. Oh, that might be well shaken. That, that will send me over the edge. <laughs> I'll have Coke, Coke first, <laughs> this later, and then chocolate milk before bed. <laughs> Scotland. It's too hot here. <laughs>